Hey folks, today we are taking a look at Transformers Generations GDO Wheelie. Now this, I did pick this guy up off of eBay as opposed to my local TRU because quite frankly, my local TRU can't stock anything it seems. Either they get, they normally will get stuff in stock and then it's gone thanks to scalpers. So the one big difference between this guy and other Generations figures it has a big sticker with Chinese on the side. That's it. Nothing else. So, there are his uh, tech specs, which are, well, it's really what can you expect. And then there is his bio. Yeah, it's really. So, let's go ahead and open them up and uh, take a look at what's inside. Wheelie is held into the package by six different twisty ties. Now, I used just a standard pair of scissors to get him out, and you can do that too, but I would recommend maybe using a pair of smaller snips, like what you would have with a model kit or something, as that would probably work a little bit easier. Otherwise, you have to be very, very careful, because those twisty ties are, well, they're a little bit of a pain in the butt. Anyway, so Wheelie himself is a repaint of Reveal the Shield Autobot Jazz, and he even comes with the speakers that Jazz came with, which I'll show you in a second. The only differences here are the head, the paint job, obviously, and the weapon that he comes with. The weapon he comes with is a blue gun slash slingshot. Now, if you've seen Transformers the movie, you know he has a slingshot in that. So they added that in. And I'll show you hold him holding it in just a second. Now the head sculpt I do like a lot, and I'm going to I'm going to get a closer up picture of the head sculpt here in just a second. But the overall look of the figure is quite nice, and this mold I think really works for Wheelie. As you can see, Wheelie's head sculpt is definitely Wheelie, though it does seem to be a little bit more mature, more of a older version of the head sculpt. Though, when you turn it and look at it from the back, it just looks like a giant big button that you want to press to make it shut up. But overall, I think the head sculpt really works for this guy. As I promised, here is the, um, well, I'm not sure what you would call the weapon, but it's definitely a slingshot of some sort. Now, I have grabbed the box here. Yep, it's just called a slingshot. So overall, I think the slingshot is a great idea for him. Plus, it easily doubles as a very silly looking gun. The slingshot can also easily be stored underneath his chest, though you do see a little bit of the slingshot here underneath his chest plate. Willie's posability is quite good. Head is on a ball joint, but it is limited. Shoulder is on a swivel and ball joint, then there is a swivel joint underneath that, and a double hinge joint, and the hands are on a ball joint. Um, whoops, lift this in, I need to take that out. Hips are on a double swivel joint, so you've got a swivel there and then a swivel inside the, the hip. Swivel underneath that, and a double hinge joint at the knee. Now, there is one major problem with the robot mode, and this is a problem with this mode, or I'm sorry, this mold in general. There's nothing holding the chest down. So, I mean, there is nothing that holds that chest in place. So you'll be playing with it, and up, oh, you just touch the chest and it opened up. Um, I really, really wish someone at either Hasbro or Takara or somewhere would just, I don't know, maybe make it so that the chest doesn't lift up so easily or figure out a way that the windshield can peg in somewhere to prevent it from doing that. that that's just a big problem with me and this mold. I just, I really don't like that, but I can look past it. Sort of. As you can see, Wheelie can deploy the speakers just like anyone else of this mold can. It looks a little bit out of place on Wheelie, I'm not going to lie. Transformation for Wheelie is exactly the same as any other figure in this mold. Take the arms and fold them up and then fold them forward along the ball joint. Lift up the front, the hood of the vehicle mode, and then close the arms in, and just gotta make sure that everything is lined up and kinda out of the way. Just kinda gotta force it in there sometimes, like that. And then once with, with the arms pointing like that, we'll just fold them down and around 
like that, like that. Then we'll take the legs and bring them together. And sometimes that is easier said than done, especially with the especially with the double knees, because things have a tendency to get all wonky on you. Well, especially on me. So one thing you need to be careful of is these white pieces that form the shins of the robot mode have a tendency on this figure to fall back behind the feet, and you don't want that to happen. So you just have to be careful and make sure that they accordion forward, and that way you can roll the foot into the trunk of the vehicle. So I'm just going to get that set up. And then you can connect everything there, and then we will just fold the legs up into the body. And I do not know why this figure just does not... Oh, these, this back part of the figure just doesn't want to stay together. Now that we have this where it is, we'll fold the rest of it up against the thighs, and then roll the whole section forward and peg it into the roof, like that. And then hopefully close the doors. And just like every other version of this mold that I have, the doors, even though it's transformed correctly, the doors don't always want to stay closed. But when, they, when you do get them closed, oh, the figure looks pretty good sometimes. So the issue I keep running into with this figure when I try to transform it is, other than just dealing with the back on this particular guy, I've never been able to keep the doors closed cr properly. And the reason is because the speakers, the speaker bits, always seem to get out of alignment. And there is so little room for maneuvering of anything in the, in the cabin of the vehicle mode that if those speakers get out of alignment, they just get in the way and they push the doors open. But when you get them in alignment and get them perfect to where they're supposed to be, the doors close flushly with no problems. And again, as you can see here, we've got the slingshot pegged into the bottom of the vehicle mode, but it still sticks out a little bit. And it looks absolutely ridiculous when you have it on a mirrored surface like what I have on my turntable here. I think the vehicle mode here works really well. It looks like a combination between a Porsche and an Aston Martin and a couple of other sports cars. I like the paint scheme in this mode. I think the orange actually works well. And the nice nod to the original wheelie figure with the blue here up front. Small issues include the weird... Well, let's just say if you've got a reflective surface, you're going to be able to see his weapon tucked up underneath, but most of us don't have reflective surfaces. The vehicle mode is good. I like the vehicle mode, and overall I do like this figure. The issues I have with this figure, with the chest that doesn't hold into place, the transformation niggles, and the weird issue I have just with getting the doors connected, those are issues with me, not with the figure. So if you can find this figure, I would recommend picking him up. I think he's a lot of fun, and I think he looks really good, especially as a G1 throwback.